Welcome back, everyone, to 100 Lit. I'm your host, Queen J. Uh, happy Friday and also happy Valentine's, Galentine's, Palentine's, whatever it is you're celebrating this weekend. A happy one to you. I hope you're having the beginnings of a great one so far. And in honor of this week and weekend of romance, I listened to a romantic book with a sweeter side than I usually read uh, called Heart Sight by Robin D. Owens via Audible narrated by Noah Michael Levine. So let's dive in. What I liked. Uh, well, if you're familiar with the Celtic series, which I am as I went through a few books in the series a while back, then you know Vinny Tavine, who's a prophet. He's been a prophet since childhood and he's now the current head of his household. And there's Avalana Hazel, who's his heartmate, uh, who is gifted and also part of a prominent household in Celta. Uh, in the previous books I did read, they were children and they were always the two that stuck out the most to me and the two I remembered after a lot of time. So I wanted to get this to see what happened to them and what their adventure was going to be. So in Heart Sight, they are both adults, soon to be married. And of course, they've got intrusive families and also danger lying in wait for them. I don't read a lot of sweeter romance, but Robin D. Owens always keeps me coming back because her characters are so well-rounded and there's always something new that you find out about Kelta. And this is her 15th book in the series, so keeping an element of freshness in the world that you've been building for 15 books, I imagine that's not very easy. And she does it really well here. She keeps things fresh and she keeps them focused on the two central characters despite the pop-ups of past characters in the series so I enjoyed that very much what I didn't like um now this is just my personal preference because I usually like my romance romances um in general on the darker side but this was a little too sweet for me you know for all that these two characters were dealing with their whole lives um, basically both of them being treated like freaks in some way or another because of their gifts I expected them to be to have a little more of an edge. Um, Not too much because of their stations in life, because of course they've both been bred to be professional, but they're young and in some respects, they're just figuring themselves out. So of course there, there are gonna be times where they lash out a little bit and there didn't seem to be a lot of that here. So overall, as I said before, sweet romances, not my thing, but If it's what you like, I recommend giving this a listen or read because I think you'll enjoy the world that Owens has constructed and it's lit enough that you'll definitely come back to see what happens. So I recommend it. So that's all for today's review. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this read isn't your thing, um, not to worry. There are plenty more recommendations on my website at queenjreads.com. You can also check out past reviews there and also recommend a book or two. Right now, I actually, I'm reading Wild World by Peter Rush and I'm almost finished that one. So I'd love to hear what you think I should read next. Uh, so be sure to tell me on the site or on Instagram or Twitter at Queen J Reads. Be on the lookout for my first short story called Wicked and Rhyme. Um, it'll be out soon. And when it does come out, I'd love to get your thoughts. Um, And that's it. So thanks again for tuning in and for all of your support. Uh, Enjoy the rest of your Valentine's, Galentine's, Palentine's, whatever. I'll be enjoying my Galentine's Day, um, which I just found out two days ago was a thing. So I'll be enjoying that. And I hope you have a great, great one. And be sure to make time and enjoy the books that bring you life. Take care.